In this video, we're going to take a look at how to come up with a simple random sample. The key to coming up with a simple random sample is that every possible sample of a fixed size should have an equal chance of being chosen. And this is why we can't trust ourselves to just pick random numbers and call that a simple random sample, because chances are uh, you know, not every number is going to have the same likelihood of being in our, our sample. We're more apt to choose numbers that have some significance to us, like, you know, birthdays or lucky numbers or something like that. So the only way to, to truly get a simple random sample is to use some sort of technology. So I'm going to show you uh, two ways we can get a simple random sample. The first thing you need to do is list every element in your sample space and assign a number to it. So in this example we'll look at a class of 30 students and the instructor needs to choose a random sample of five students to attend a mathematics conference. So we want to list all of the members of the sample space which in this case would be the students in the class and we want to assign them a number. So we've numbered every student so first I'm going to show you how to do this on your graphing calculator. So on the calculator, if we want a simple random sample of five students, uh, we're going to hit the math button, and then we're going to move over to the right until we get to the probability menu, and then we're going to choose item number five, random integer, and then you're going to go ahead and press enter. And the lower, for the lower, you should use the smallest number in your sample space, which in this case is 1. And then for the upper, we should use the largest number in our sample space, which in this case is 30. And then you can press Enter and Enter, and Enter again, and that will give you your first random integer between 1 and 30. For a second random integer, you'll press enter again, we can press enter again, we can press enter again, and we can press enter again. And that gives me five random integers. So based on this, student number 29 is going to the conference, that would be Stephen. So Stephen is going. Uh, student 28, Rose, is going. Student 5, that would be Ashley. Student 16, that would be Luis and student 13 would be Jesse. So these would be my five students chosen completely at random. Uh, one thing to note, sometimes this random integer function on your calculator can give you uh, a repeat. If a number is repeated, just press enter again and get another one. You'll just keep going until you get five uh, non-repeats. The second method I will show you for generating a simple random sample is done using a spreadsheet. And I'm going to use Google Sheets, but you could also use uh, Microsoft Excel and it would work pretty much the same way. So all I'm going to do is go into any empty cell and I'm going to put an equal sign and then I'm going to type RAND between. So R-A-N-D followed by the word between. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put the, the lowest number in my sample space and the highest number in my sample space. So again, we've got 30 students, so I want numbers between 1 and 30. And then if you go ahead and press return, it gives me a random number between 1 and 30. And then to generate my list, I'm going to go back to that cell. I'm going to copy it. And then if you want, you can take this little square in the bottom right hand corner and drag it down to however many random numbers you want. Now we want to generate a sample of five, but I'm going to go past five in case there are repeats. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to eight just in case. Okay, so I'm going to go down to eight and then I'm going to release and it gives me uh, eight random numbers and I'm just going to take the first five that aren't repeats and notice here the first five are not repeats so this would be so these five would be my simple random sample so I've got 5, 27, 15, 25, and 26 so if I go back to my list of students we have student 5 so Ashley gets chosen again 
Uh, student 15 is Trey. So Trey is going. Uh, and then we had students 25, 26, and 27. So my simple random sample generated on the spreadsheet consists of Ashley, Trey, Victor, Sterling, and Cartman. So I've shown you two ways to generate a simple random sample. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful.